We have here before us the five platonic solids. What we want to do in this video is to see, using these platonic solids, which Archimedean solids we can construct. But we can only use the pieces that are in these five platonic solids. So we're obviously not going to be able to construct all 13 of the Archimedean solids, but let's see which ones we can construct. Let's start with the cube and the octahedron. So we have constructed a cube octahedron using the cube and the octahedron. We have two squares and two triangles at each vertex. So, let's start again now with our five platonic solids and see what else we can construct. Let's turn our attention now to these two here, the icosahedron and the dodecahedron. So, we have constructed an icosidodecahedron with two triangles and two pentagons at each vertex. Let's see what else we can do. So again, our starting point will be having all of the platonic solids in front of us. Now the first two combining the cube and the octahedron into a cube octahedron and combining the icosahedron and the dodecahedron into an icosidodecahedron were perhaps obvious, but the ones we're going to do now are not so obvious. We're going to combine these two, so the octahedron and the icosahedron, and we're going to allow ourselves to construct hexagons by using six triangles to construct another Archimedean solid. So now we have a truncated tetrahedron. We have created four hexagons by using six triangles and used the triangles that are left over, so that we used exactly the pieces of the octahedron and the icosahedron to construct this truncated tetrahedron. So let's start from scratch one more time with our five platonic solids and see what we can do. What we're going to do now is also not obvious. We're going to use everything except the dodecahedron and exactly these pieces will give us what we need for a snub cuboctahedron. And now we have used all of the pieces from all of the platonic solids except the dodecahedron to create a snub cuboctahedron. So altogether, we have been able to create a cuboctahedron, an icosidodecahedron, a truncated tetrahedron, and this last one here, a snub cuboctahedron. But of course you can't make all of these at one time. You can only make, at the most, these two at one time. So those are the four Archimedean solids that you can make using exactly the pieces that you need to create the platonic solids.